Hello. Hello there. Hello there. Oh, <laughs> didn't realize that I had to laugh a little bit in this video. Get your hand away from me, Lias. This color is sublime. It is called Grace. And it is just the perfect shade of like lilac y gray. Anyway, I'm using it as an ombre. Um, this is the same client that had the yellow set. We've got a few videos that have been backlogged, so I've just like got a few that are coming up all in the same space, but are actually done like literally like two months apart. I didn't record the one set in between because I was not well that day. So yeah, I'm working quite wet with this colour because it is very opaque and highly pigmented. So I don't need a lot of it, but I'm just putting enough to make the ombre like where I want it. And, like dragging it down. Um, this is the client from the LS that has the really curvy nails. So as we usually do an overlay, um, and she likes the curve, she rocks the curve, she owns that curve. So yep. I'm gonna do an ombre with that, and then the next color that I'm gonna use is one of my favorites to work with ever. It's like glassy, it's like beautiful. Um, it's called Dusted Fondant. Hands are the same, by the way, so it's just um, a case of me showing you which one looked better on camera, which one I didn't knock out of shot the most. So then we have got a lovely marble using Grace and Lucy. And Lucy is like this kind of, I don't know, what kind of a dusty pink kind of colour. It's really quite nice. Um, I w this is one of those sets where I, d I was given free reign. Oh, knocked my camera then, well odd. Um, is it, I was given free reign and I just sort of went with my gut. And I'm not joking, until I saw them, you know when you do your nails, you, like, you look at one finger? Well, it wasn't until right at the end that I actually saw them all together. And I was like, actually, this all goes. And I swear to God, up until the very, like when all of the colors went on all of the nails, I didn't like them. And it wasn't until she was like outside having a cig and I could see him from a distance. I was like, actually, they look banging. Uh, so that was like the little blob of one colour, little blob of another colour on. And then the next nail that I'm doing is an ombre. So I'm putting down a bead of cover pink. My first bead, as you can see, was way too wet and just plopped up my brush onto the acrylic, uh, onto the acrylic, yeah, onto the kitchen roll. It's late in the day for me, I'm a bit tired. And then I am gonna drag some um, cherry bomb, my favorite, my new favorite. Well, no, the, I have a lot of favorites by Trilogy, but in terms of glitter, that's my new fave. Um, drag that up the nail i'm just scraping some off and i couldn't make it flush enough but i wasn't really bothered I wasn't bothered because i was putting that glitter up there but the unfortunate thing is it wasn't the best shape i'm gonna admit this you know it really didn't go the best shape and i should have really smoothed it out a lot more but i didn't none of this is sped up by the way because it was that quick of a set i think it genuinely the recording of both hands took me 26 minutes to do all of the colour work which for me is pretty quick so I haven't sped any of it up so my yakking it's just gonna have to be I'm just waffling today I take ADHD meds and I think they're pretty much worn off so I'm just rambling but yeah that's cherry bomb mm, love it
cherry bomb on that marble, same on the other hand, and then the thumbs, full cherry bomb, because you know what, like, I wasn't sure about whether this glitter would go, but then we both were like, yeah, we love it. She loved it. She wanted some at Subtle because she's going out for her birthday. I think it's her birthday uh, to a really posh restaurant. So she wanted something quite subtle. But we couldn't just do like a ombre. I initially offered her a pink and white ombre, but she couldn't do that. Um, so I'm just applying it up the cuticle and then dragging it down and getting a bit more. And then dragging it down. And then applying it to the tip. Just to give nice full coverage. But I don't want it to be too dense because... Over. I'm itching my hand with my teeth. Um, I don't want it to be too dark, if that makes sense. So I like the fact that it looks kind of uh, uh, sheer a bit. Then the second ombre, kind of ombre, even though there was a glitter one. Excuse me, I need to cough. <coughs> yeah, so a second ombre. Um, this is going to be using uh, that. I've got really weird messages. I have no idea who they are. Asking if they can help me out with something. That's literally what they said. Can I help you with anything? Sorry about that. <laughs> totally. <laughs> anyway, using just fondant. And like I said, it's kind of glassy. Um, it does give full coverage on the nail, honest to God, but the way it, it just, I can't explain it. I don't even know. It's like quite sheer, but not sheer at the same time. So like a bead of it will cover, but when you want to do an ombre, it just, it blends really well. So I put that on the top because of, look, you can see, like on the tip, it's covered her natural nail. There is going to be more, but it's covered her natural nail really well on the, right on the tip. But when you've put it up, it's almost gone transparent. It's just the way, I don't know, I don't know how it's made. I don't want to know how it's made. I just want to use it. And I will all the time. I love colours that are like this. You know, they're not those flat colours. They've got a shine, I don't know, a shimmer to them. I really, I really love colours like this. So yeah, that's that one. And I'm pretty sure that's it for the nails. And then we're going to be moving on to capping, which I didn't put in, because I didn't think there was any point, because we know how to cap. And, um, and firing. And then it will be top coat time. Yes, it will. I love that blender. It's beautiful. You can kind of, it looks like you can kind of see now. Yeah, now we're at the top coat. My file's in the background. She was rushing, right? So I literally rushed this filing, like the filing bit, rushed it. She had to get to work. So I spent so long like redoing all of like the acrylic and stuff, the clear base, just like straightening out her nails and everything. Not the curve, but she'd been on holiday and they were abused. Um. So yeah, her hand, one of her hands is in while I'm doing this top coat and usually I do the first one, but I had to file it. Doesn't matter. This is a top coat anyway. I didn't get it outside shot either, which I'm going to put because this set is gorgeous. But the picture looks okay anyway, so and there it is. That nice curve to those nails. Sexy. <laughs> I think you and I know it's like worst nightmare type material. It's getting a nice slime in it around. No, that's not like the actual way to do it, but it just felt so satisfying. <laughs> Sorry. Look at the holograms though, those little holographic shards, they are so sexy. Mm. But I could have had a better camera position as well, but I have done good. <laughs> you can tell Matt that my uh, things have blown off. Right, so here's the terrible video of this hand. Really good. I thought it was better than this when I watched it back. But this is the picture. Look at that. Oh, I do really love this set. Like, I really love this set. I think it's beautiful. 
So yeah, that's it guys. Sorry it was so short and sweet, but I'm really trying to get more videos up for you. Sorry, just looking down at something then. Not the screen. Look at that marble. Yeah. I mean, I could have done better on the shape, but I didn't have the time. And I just wanted it to get to work on time and stuff, so we'd squeezed her in. And normally we don't have to, you know, she doesn't go anywhere afterwards, but this time we did, so I'm pretty pleased with what I had. And also considering that they curve down as well, sometimes it is harder to get that nice, neat edge. And so yeah, thank you for watching. I really hope you liked it. If you want to see more, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And I'll see you soon, guys. Bye-bye. Uh,